Hello and welcome to Tech Guinness. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will talk about Flowable Spring Boot. Let's get started. So all we have to do is go to start.spring.io to create a new Spring Boot project. We will select language, project and version as we require. So I am using Maven version. For group, you can give any name. Artifact ID I am choosing as Flowable in because this will act as a engine for my all the BPM related BPM or CMM related processes okay for this demo I am using S2 database and in the next videos I will show you how you can link it with a Postgres database as well so once you have set up all these things you can click on generate and your project will be downloaded I have already downloaded the project and let me show you via IntelliJ okay so this is our project name flowable engine hyphen engine so is by default uh, spring boot application main class nothing uh, fancy here the only thing we have to do is open the form.xml this is spring boot starter parent is part of our whatever project we have generated now what you have to do is we need two dependencies mainly one is your core dependency which will make it as a as flowable engine so flowable spring boot starter and we are using version 7 now for exposing all the flowables capability as a rest api you need to add flowable spring boot starter process rest okay so with this all the things like initiating a workflow completing a workflow details of the execution everything you can do it via the rest apis in the application dot properties i have changed the port number because i am running something else on 8080 so right now i am using 1990 here so this is all about uh, pom.xml so again summarizing i have adding, added a core dependency i have added a rest exposure okay added the s2db only three dependencies we have added now when you download the project there is no nothing like processes in the resources folder so to run a process right or to deploy a process you need to create a folder called as processes okay here is the the process definition xml will go here okay and once this is done right all you have to do is run the main class so you can see right all the tables and everything on the first go it will create all the tables which are required so you can see here right cmmn no deployment resources found because we have not put any cmm related artifact here and dmn again right in my future videos for flowable you can see i'll explain you about dmn as well cmm and dmn right app engine also i'll explain you basically you can have a app as well flowable as a app concept and then we have event registries as well so nothing is there so it is saying found five engine configurations because it is uh, like whatever the engines we have is you have a spring process engine a spring event registry engine idm engine for identity management dmn engine for all the decision management cmmn is for case management so all the five engines are running engine is started okay so now how we can test it right, whether it is started so let's go to postman okay so this whole flowable rest api is the all the capabilities of flowable engine which are exposed as rest apis right now what we are looking for are a repository right within repositories we have process definition so we want to know a list of process definition okay so here is the url now base url because i am using variable 
so right now it is pointing to localhost 9090 you can see here okay so i'll i'll create one video on uh, rest apis as well for flowable when you click on send you can see right this is what we have deployed hello world okay now let me again tell you one thing right what we will do we will copy this and paste it here okay now this time we will change the name to some other thing so for example leave app app okay so let's change all the names here right so this process id because it is a unique key right so we'll change it to leave app okay and let's kind of copy this okay so wherever is the reference we'll change the reference as well it as well now there is no reference to hello world right which we have previously deployed we'll save it close this and let's restart okay let's go to postman right now you can see previously it was total one only right let's run it now we have two right so let's check so this is the leave app right so now you can see within five minutes we are able to run a spring boot application which is supporting all the flowable engines right and also we have seen how quickly we can see all the process definitions using the flowable rest apis now quickly we'll see how we can start the process instance as well so there is a in under runtime we have process instances as well okay so here we have to give the process definition key right so we'll say hello world as the process and same is the same is the key key as well business key okay and while we are instantiating a process right starting a process we can give the process variables right whatever variables we want to inject so for example here i am saying name and i am saying name i can send the value as anything for example jack now if I want to have one more variable, I can just duplicate this. So what we can say, right? Uh, age and I can say 23. Okay. So let's run this. So it is saying 201 created and you can see here process definition id hello world one ending with c95 so there's one more url right list process instances if i click here it has listed the instances and you can see right i given name as jack a just 23 so this is currently in execution right this is all about uh, this video and we'll see other things in the next upcoming videos and i will create a separate video on the post this postman collection for rest apis thank you